This will run away. Shaman Anwar sprints one, comes back for the second. He's imploring his mate to get down the other end, and there it is. A run third brings up a quite wonderful hundred for Shaman Anwar. What a moment this is for him and the UAE. At 35, an age when most cricketers contemplate retirement, Shaiman Anwar became the first UAE cricketer to score a century in a Cricket World Cup, a feat he achieved in this year's recently concluded ICC flagship event. I didn't know what it meant at the time, but when I received an outpouring of support from well-wishers in the UAE, Pakistan and all over the world, I realized I had done something special. At the end of the first four games for the UAE, Anwar scored 278 runs at an average of 67.5, which was higher than the likes of Chris Gale, A.B. de Villiers and Hashim Amla. The right-handed batsman would go on to amass 311 runs at an average of close to 52, the only associate batsman to feature in the top 20 run scorers of the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015. A stocky, diminutive cricketer Anwar was born and raised in the Pakistani city of Sialkot, for whom he made his first-class debut in 2002. A year after securing employment with a UAE shipping company in 2007, Anwar gained a reputation as a six-hitter in the country's domestic cricket circles, earning him the nickname Sixer Shaiman and more recently Sir Viv. So what precipitated this change in perception of a batsman who once modelled his technique on Rahul Dravid as a teenager. I think uh, four or five years be uh, before. About four to five years ago, when I was playing for my former company, Consolidated Shipping Services, during a T20 tournament in Sharjah, I hit seven sixes in an over and became quite famous because of it. Ever since that match, whenever I made runs, newspapers would always make a reference to those seven sixes that I hit. It's a pretty big achievement not many are capable of doing it. If you are thinking how I managed seven, it was because of a no ball. Even one no ball is there, so that's why seven, six in one over. Apart from that world win, 106 off 83 balls against the Irish, only his nation's second hundred in their ODI history, Anwar also impressed with memorable performances against full member nations. Against the country of his birth, he composed a nerveless 62 with the bowling attack offering him little threat. Having shared a dressing room with ex-internationals Shoaib Malik and Imran Nazir during his first-class days, the match against Pakistan was an emotional one. Definitely, we have an idea that Pakistani... It was a strange feeling to play against the country of my birth but I tried not to think about it too much. My major focus now is to constantly find ways of improving and becoming a better batsman, whether it's the Pakistanis, Indians or Sri Lankans. I just try and learn from them by noticing how they adapt their technique to suit foreign conditions. Then I work hard to make these changes by experimenting in the nets. I still have a long way to go and a lot to learn. While Anwar's unflappable demeanour and cheerful disposition often gives the impression that batting comes easy to him, this isn't necessarily the case. He's been performing a careful juggling act between endless hours of practice and full-time work for a while, first at a shipping company and now in the petroleum industry. But it's a difficult task made easier by his understanding employers. My company adopts a very flexible approach when it comes to cricket. We have a mutual understanding, so when I get called up for national duty, they let me go. This puts me at ease. My company and the UAE Cricket Board also share a good relationship and are cooperative when the need arises. The UAE has in recent years been a happy hunting ground for the Pakistani cricket team, who currently play their home games in the Emirates. Anwar believes this arrangement has been a boon for UAE cricket, which has benefited from the presence of international players and the knowledge they bring.
हमने बहुत पिछले इफ देर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्ले ऑन द बिगेस्ट स्टेज वी टेक इट विद ओपन आर्म्स आवर कोचेस हैव बीन वर्किंग हार्ड विद अस फॉर द लास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स प्लेयर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड हैव बीन कमिंग टू दुबई फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स सो इट्स गुड एक्सपोजर फॉर एज एस प्लेयर्स एंड फॉर द ओवरऑल ग्रोथ ऑफ यू ए क्रिकेट तो काफी अच्छा फील हो रहा है इन चीजों से In a matter of months, Shyman Anwar has gone from obscurity to stardom. At 36 and with just 13 one-day internationals under his belt, Anwar is indeed a late bloomer. But his recent exploits at the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015 have proved that age is no barrier. Let's hope the swing of his blade will continue to inspire UAE's younger generation for many years to come.